Hi, Dale coming to you from my driveway again, and this video, it's a follow-up of my previous video where I show you how I haul 4x8 sheet goods with my hauling rack in my short bed truck. In that video, by far the most common comments I got was, just buy a real truck. Oh so helpful and oh so constructive. Thanks all the guys that gave me that. You know, I looked up in at least six different places and not once did I see criteria on to be called a truck requiring the criteria of laying a 4x8 sheet good flat in the truck. So I don't know what makes a real truck to you, but to me, this is a truck. Another common comment I would get was they were bummed that I didn't show it actually in use. I explained in each of those comments with a follow-up that I did shoot video of it being used, but that video just didn't come out, so I couldn't use it. The good news is I've got a project coming up where I need another 4x8 sheet of plywood, so I thought I, this is a perfect time to shoot a follow-up and show you how I load and unload using the hauling rack. Come on, let's go. I simply roll the flatbed cart to the back of my truck, lift the front of the sheet onto the rack, and then push the rest of it all the way on from the back. Super simple and really pays off big when there are more than one sheet as I never really need to lift any part of it more than about 16 inches. I lay a scrap 2x4 over the top of the sheet to keep the straps from digging into the edges when I strap it down using the tie downs in the bed of my truck. I cinch these down pretty tight. You can see how secure this is as I try to pull the sheet straight back and then side to side. Trust me, it isn't going anywhere. In fact, the entire truck moves when I pull and try to move the sheet back and forth. If you're worried about it sliding straight out as you do your dragster racing start, you can take care of this really simply by running one more strap around the end hanging off your tailgate. Now there's really no way it can slide out. Unloading is easy. I back my truck into my garage where I've placed a couple boards across a couple sawhorses. Now I just reverse the loading process by first pulling the sheet out so one end is on the bench. I then simply push the rest of it off the truck and onto the bench. At no time during the loading or unloading do I ever need to lift the entire sheet. So there you have it, the hauling rack in action. It really does secure these things down really, really well. As you could see when I was tugging on it, it just didn't really move at all. In fact, the whole truck moved. It makes loading and unloading a breeze, especially if you have more than one sheet. After unloading, it's in the exact same condition that it was when it was sitting on the rack in the store. All done with my very real yet short bed truck. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up consider sharing it. it really helps me out a lot and if you haven't done it yet please consider subscribing and if you want leave a comment below tell me what you think i enjoy reading all the comments even the ones that tell me i need to buy a real truck until next time see ya